Hi guys, how you're doing? My name is Ben Marshall and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a video on a guitar that not a lot of people are familiar with. This is my Italia Marinello Speedster 2. So I bought this when I went into a guitar shop probably like five years ago and I actually had a bit of money to spend but I did not have Fender or Gibson money available to me and the shop I went into didn't stock that, it was a wicked little local store. When I was looking around this sort of caught my eye and I don't know whether it was in a good or a bad way because it's quite a divisive looking guitar I suppose but the guy who owned the shop said give one of them a try loads of the people around here who play have tried one of them and it's made them put their Gibson Les Pauls away in a case so I thought that's a pretty pretty bold statement but I'll give it a go and sure enough it was a flipping awesome guitar so I'm going to try and tell you a bit about it and why I think it's a bit of a bargain if you can find one so Italian guitars, from a bit of research, I believe have been around since the 90s, but this iteration at least were fully designed by Trevor Wilkinson. Now he's more well known, I suppose, for making loads of hardware, and um, pickups, bridges, etc. that you find in other guitars, but he's obviously a designer in his own right as well and does custom builds and things like that. And from my understanding and what I can find out about these, because information's a bit thin on the ground, he had complete oversight of this generation of Atari guitars and this is one of the ones he designed. So what features has it got then? Probably the coolest thing about this guitar is it's a Carina body and as we know for some daft prices coming around from Epiphone on their Flying Vs and um, Explorers they've just re-released, Carina is pretty unusual wood to find but a lot of them 50s Gibsons, they're sort of halo guitars for having that Carina wood and it's pretty unique. So it's hard to find guitars made of Carina in my experience, certainly affordable ones. So it's got a Carina body, we've got this funky little shape, which is a bit like a double cut junior. Um, and we've got a bit of a slab, it's not, it's a bit thinner than Les Paul, but it's not like SG, hopefully that gives you some sort of um, context. It's probably about the same width as my Telecaster. Uh, but it's a pretty substantial guitar. We'll get close-ups of all this as well. Um, we have two pickups, humbucking pickups. These are very hotly wound, in my opinion. I can't take them out and test them. There's, there's better channels for that, but they are pretty hot, hot and spicy pickups. We have got this wraparound cool single-piece tail bridge, which is really nicely made. Again, a Wilkinson thing. And we have this cool badge, which is sort of a stuck-on badge. Rosewood board. We've got, I would say, medium jumbo frets, and we have these cool little inlays with an S on them for Speedster. And what else have we got? We've got racing stripes, racing stripes on a guitar. Not every day you see that. <laughs> so I think that's what makes it a bit of a divisive looking guitar, but I think you're either gonna absolutely love it or hate it, but it's a bit of a shame it's divisive because it's a flipping awesome guitar. The scale length, is similar to my Fender, I believe. I'll try and find them and put them on the screen, but if I can't, this feels much more to a sort of Fender spacing of frets than a Gibson, um, which is a little bit closer together, which is probably why I resonated with the guitar a bit in the first place. I love Gibsons and everything, but I'm more of a Fender and a Strat player, so it just feels really nice and familiar, this does. Um, unlike some SG shapes, it's not top heavy or anything, it sits really nicely on you. There's no top on it or anything, this is just a sort of slab, a slab of wood. So from my understanding, I don't think this company is around anymore. I can't see any posts on their Facebook or their website since about 2018. So that's a great shame really, because they're really cool. But what you can find is these second hand in lots of places and they're an absolute steal. New, I paid for this about 550 quid. It's Korean made, which so it's a great price for that but now you can find them second hand for about 300 quid if you're lucky, which is an absolute steal for this. In my life away from my small YouTube channel, I record bands and a lot of people come in with their Gibsons or are after something a bit spicy um, to play with, something a bit thicker than a single coil. They just want a classic humbucker sound. And every time I've passed someone this guitar without fail, they have absolutely loved it and thought it sounded flipping amazing. To the point, amongst, amongst the group of people I record, it's got a little bit of a hero halo status this guitar has. And it completely holds its own against anything USA made. So absolute steal. If you can find one, get one. The only bit I have changed on this guitar, other than burning it with a soldering iron when I replaced the uh, toggle switch, <laughs> I have put... A little sticker on the back 
and that is it. The rest of it is completely stock, other than the toggle switch, which broke in a case and I had to change. So we are gonna muck around with a few sounds. It's not really this sort of guitar where we're gonna get jazzy and clean, is it, with loads of stuff. But I will show you clean through my semi-pushed Marshall DSL 40 combo on half power. And then we are gonna slap on a Noble ODR1 just to give you some dirt, which you'll have heard already in the intro. But we'll go through the pickups and some of the controls. Let me know what you think it sounds like. To me, it sounds like a really cool, chunky Les Paul sort of sound, but with a bit of bite to it. I think it's an awesome sounding thing. So see what you think to it. So this is clean and we shall go through the pickups starting with the neck pickup. Middle pickup. Well, too used to playing a strat, not the middle pickup the in-between sound. And finally, the bridge pickup. That's quite enough of that. Let's rock it up. sound I absolutely love getting with a humbucker setting is that classic woman tone which is for the uninitiated the neck pickup with your tone rolled all the way backwards <laughs> beautiful sound as you can maybe tell i'm getting a bit carried away today because my neighbors who are next door are out so this is cranked a bit which is the best way to play a guitar with humbuckers or any guitar for that matter crank it up and amp if you can so short and sweet today but hopefully that gives you a bit of an overview on this guitar a few of the sounds you can get on it if you're buying this i'm guessing you're probably rocking on it um hence hence the demo and flipping out what a guitar to do it on beautiful to play beautiful fret ends Carina body, Wilkinson humbuckers, Wilkinson bridge. This man knows how to design a guitar. So if you can pick one up for a bargain price, make sure you do. Um, this model also comes with, I apologize. Uh, this model also comes with one pickup, which I'd love to try one day, 
but I also love having that rhythm pickup as I've just shown for that sort of woman tone. That's what I love a humbucker guitar for. Karina guitars aren't that easy to come across, but from what I've found, I absolutely love this guitar and the material probably plays a bit of a role in it. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe because it helps me more than you will ever know. And check out some of the other videos on the channel. And I shall see you for the next one. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.